Cedar sinai is one of the largest deliverers of health care on the West Coast. We run a large primary care network, and at the same time, we also deliver the most complex, complicated quaternary and tertiary services, programs which really require the highest medical skill and talents in the nation. Cedar sinai has gone through a tremendous transformation. We went from a high-quality, community-based hospital to an academic powerhouse. One of the great advantages we have, of course, is living in one of the most wonderful and diverse cities in the country, and it doesn't hurt that the climate isn't too bad either. We are blessed by a great environment, intellectually as well as personally, and that allows us to have the very brightest trainees who make our chances for continuing to push things forward and innovate even greater. I really was looking at Cedars as this wonderful opportunity to learn not only medicine, but really practice with the most advanced knowledge and the most advanced technology and medicine out there. The Cedars program, uh, given its breadth of, of clinical experiences and research experiences, it's really an ideal program for an applicant to fulfill their dreams. You know, whatever their aspirations may be, Cedars is a great program that they can reach that goal. Our program really has world-class faculty. We have an institution that provides every resource to develop the highest level of care. We have many house staff who look to our fellows as leaders. We have our research opportunities in any area that you would want. We make sure that our fellows come out trained to do ultrasound-guided thyroid biopsies. We use the simulation center at Cedars. In addition, we have our fellows rotate with a radiologist to learn how to do interpretation of ultrasounds, of DEXAs, of uh, MRIs, uh, to be able to read these studies themselves. And we also provide training in diabetes technologies. It's a very dynamic program. We're not chiseled in stone. Every year we change things around. We may add some rotations, take some away to maximize fellows' educational experience. The mentors here, our attendings, have definitely been the most integral part of my education so far. They are amazing. The level of knowledge, the level of connections they have, and how much they put in into our learning and teaching is beyond words. We provide this nurturing environment where you can ask any question. It's a safety net, you know, this is the time to take advantage of every opportunity. And we're here to just foster that independence, answer your questions, and provide the tools to make you an independent endocrinologist. We see homeless people, we see celebrities, and everything in between, which is very valuable. You know, you need to know how to interact with and communicate with every kind of person. Because of Cedars um, being a big pituitary center, we end up seeing a lot of rare cases that you might not see in other facilities maybe once a year, but here we end up seeing them every month. We have a very strong research portfolio. We have the full breadth, you know, on a given year we publish 40 to 50 papers, and the current year we have $5 million of funding from the National Institutes of Health. There are a lot of opportunities for research. We meet all of these different attendings who have different interests, and then we can start building upon our own interests to join them or create our own projects. There's just a, a, across the board a camaraderie in our institution and, and an emphasis on collaborating together, and there's really a team spirit. Our program invests a lot in us. We have so many didactics. We have so many one-on-one -on -one sessions. The practical knowledge as well as the clinical knowledge and the academic part, I think it's a blend of everything which is perfect for our growth. I am very happy I came here and I couldn't be luckier to be here.